got myself a coin here and it was coming out like a weedy and that's what it is it's a wheat penny there you go all right well i'm gonna get back to digging see what else i can find we'll see you on the next one all right well let's take a chance on this one kind of a mid-tone there middle numbers could be trash but <clears throat> just now I'm getting some higher numbers But let's see what it is. That would be my middle number. Looks like it is maybe one of those aluminum foil candy type wrapper. Oh, I'm sorry. Aluminum foil candy type wrapper. I do apologize about that. Sometimes my vest does get in the way, but there it is. All right. I'm going to put that in the pocket. All right. So this is coming in really, really low. It's sitting on edge actually, but it is another wheat penny. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take that, put that in the pocket, and see you on the next one. Well, looks like I got another, another Wheatie right there. I'm going to go back to swinging, see real quick if I can get a, a date on it. Looks like it's a 1945. 1945 Weedy. I'm gonna get back to swing and we'll see you on the next one. So, this is pretty deep. At least it sounded like it was deep. Could be just that it sounded small. Whatever it is, it's still in there. Hello. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Piece of trash. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to swinging. Go. All right, well, I got myself another wheat penny right there. Hopefully, I'm almost done with the yard. But I'm hoping that maybe I might be able to pull a, a silver or a gold or anything. But, all right, well, that makes four four wheat pennies and uh, see if I can scrape dirt off right away see if I can get some type of year on it I don't see anything it's uh it's pretty caked on with uh, with dirt I do see a D Looks like it's a 42, 1942 wheat penny. All right, I'm gonna get back to digging. We'll see you on the next one. All right, well, looks like I got something right here. Some type of religious pendant. Let me see. It says all praise 
be yours, my Lord, for all create creatures are large, all creatures large and small. I'm sorry, messed that up, but it's a say, Saint Francis have a sass. A sissy protect my dog so it's a dog tag all right well that's pretty cool all right I'm gonna get back to digging we'll see you on the next one all right well it looks like I got myself another looks like another wheat penny I'm not sure I believe it is. Yep, another wee penny. Alright, I'm gonna get back to swing and see if I can find anything else. We'll see you on the next one. Well, I just got through pulling up a nickel, and I have taken a peek out of it. It is a buffalo nickel. Awesome. No buffalo nickel. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to swing and see what else I can find. We'll see you on the next one. Go. So I got a signal right here. It's probably going to be a zinc, but it sounds pretty deep. So. No, nah, it doesn't say zinc. No, it says it's higher. Oh, there it is right there. It is a wheat penny. All right, well, I'm going to get back to swing and see what else I can find. Let's see if we can maybe get a, a date off of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a date on it, but... On the back it does say one cent all right i'm gonna get back to swing we'll see you on the next one Go for it. all right well it looks like i got myself another wheat penny here pretty sure it's what it is yep another wheat penny pretty good day so far you have got about six or seven wheat pennies I've got a buffalo. I'm gonna get back to swing and we'll see you on the next one. Go. So I've got another target which was right next to right next to where that wheat penny was, probably about four or five inches. I'm gonna get to dig it and see if maybe I might be able to not coming in very clear but it is in there check and see what that is not exactly sure what that is but uh, maybe a piece of car, some type of tubing. All right, well, I'll get back to swing. We'll see you on the next one. Well, it looks like I got myself another wheat penny here. This has been hit by something. But uh, I'll take it. It's another wheat penny. Still no silver, but I'm looking for it. All right, well, I'll see you on the next one. GoPro, stop recording. All right, well, looks like I got myself another wheat penny right here. Not exactly sure what the year would be. It's uh, pretty crusty. Eh, it seems like it's going to be a wheat day. I'm just about done, but there's another weedy. All right, go back to swinging. We'll see you on the next one. All right, well, I had another signal. This signal was actually right here below the, the root, and I went ahead and decided to go after it. Didn't think it was anything special. I, you know, I just thought, okay, just thought, all right, well, some piece of metal. But as I go to dig it out, 
it appears to be some type of a may have been a ring at one time maybe appears to be a maybe a longhorn longhorn ring at one point it's made of copper brass or something like that probably copper but it does look like it was a ring at one time well that's pretty cool that is pretty cool all right there you go see if i might i don't know i don't know why i want to but thought i'd check and see if maybe the other piece was there but no it's not there but that's pretty cool all right a little longhorn longhorn ring all right we'll see you on the next one all right well found another buffalo pretty cool all right well, I'm going to get back to digging and see what else I can find. Like I said, another buffalo. We'll see you on the next one. Well, thank you all for sticking around and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, my, I, I metal detect most of the time with the XP Deus. And I use the X35 coil, the 11 inch X35 coil. Um, I, I started using that machine probably about four years ago. Uh, my settings uh, there I don't I don't think that they're anything really special I do adjust my iron uh, my iron a little bit I think I'm running it at about probably uh, one sometimes I might bring it up to to three I usually hunt in 20 kilohertz uh, I really I've always liked using 20 kilohertz um, it, it it hits pretty good on the silver and it hits really great on the uh, on the gold and uh, although I don't get gold all the time I don't get silver all the time uh, I do trust that machine on on what it's telling me and the reason being is because I took time to learn that machine uh, you know I've got I've I started metal detecting back in 1992 I've used just about every machine there is out there uh, I enjoy them all um, but the XP Deus is the one that I continue to go back to. With that given, um, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and my sensitivity, uh, I don't remember what my sensitivity, I think it's usually about an 88, and then the ground balance. On the ground balance, uh, you can't always get the ground balance to, to go, and it's not because there's, you know, it's not working, it's because there really isn't really, it's not there, it's not something there for it to ground balance on. Um, but, but what I try to do is I try to, uh, I try to ground balance it as, as often as I can, whether it's, you know, when I first start out, I may even go uh, 30 minutes after I started. Uh, or I may not even re-ground balance at all, but it's it's suggested to re-ground balance about every 30 minutes. And the reason being is because you get into different, uh, you might get into different ground. The ground may be a little different next to a tree. It might be different next to a sidewalk. It may be diff different next to, um, next to a house. Um, but with that given, thank, like I said, thank you very much for, for, for watching my videos and i'm gonna get let's get to let's get to the finds and uh see what today's uh see what today's finds were thank you all very much for watching let's get to it all right so here are my finds from today's hunt although i didn't get everything on on film uh you know i wish i i wish i would have but i didn't get it all on film uh i wasn't able to record it all but we're gonna go ahead and get started on this um I got let's start let's start with this this is uh, this this is part of a of a horse um, horse wooden thing that goes across from one horse to another I forget what it's called uh, but it was that that came it came out sounding really good uh, I also got this it's probably some type of a clock part 
uh i've got i got this and not exactly sure what that is i know that's a buckle uh but some some type of a buckle with i don't know what this end is on it i did get a, a bullet casing i got a uh back to some type of a button i got a protect my dog saint francis of Ass assisi it's got saint francis on it. it's got a dog on there and on the back with the scripture all all praise be yours my lord for all creatures large and small i was a i got two um i got two marbles this is one of them right here and then this one and then i'm trying to hurry because these mosquitoes are actually getting me but let's see i got this surface find bracelet here and it's got an e d i t b not exactly sure what that means but a surface find uh i think this is probably i don't know what what the material is on it or the uh the metal is i'm going to say it's probably some type of a stainless steel i did get a sidewinder uh vintage side sidewinder uh lure uh i got this is my clad here one quarter um two nickels three pennies dime and then here's a quarter as well that is bent over i also got two buffalo nickels these are my two buffalo nickels two buffalo nickels i got no dates on them uh, i couldn't get no date on them but they are two buffalo nickels and i was able to have let's see i got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine wheat pennies nine wheat pennies and i was able to get the I was able to get the dates on those. The dates on those are 1919S, 1942D, 1942D, 1944, 1945S, 1945D, 1951D, 1951D, and a 1946S. Now, also, I got this this ring it's a texas longhorn ring that's kind of cool anyways that pretty much wraps up my my day and my finds I thank you all very much for watching until next time good luck and happy hunting and just get out there and have some fun we'll see you on the next time